Hello, it's Pippa here from Property Guru Property Report. Tonight is a very exciting evening. We are at the Shangri-La Hotel in Colombo for the first ever gala dinner in Sri Lanka since the country joined the Property Guru Asia Property Awards. Do stay with me. I'm going to be hitting the red carpet to ask the judges their thoughts on where the market is headed over the next few years. And fast forward five, ten years, what yeah. does the Sri Lankan real estate market look like? Oh, Sri Lankan market will change and the horizon will be changed things will be so much different and I'm so looking forward to those changes and I'm sure the property market will boom in the next four to five years. So I think there's going to be continuous demand for the commercial real estate and the uh, retail landscape in the country. From a residential perspective also there's going to be a lot of demand simply because Sri Lanka is moving into a middle income country and there is going to be increased demand for quality housing uh, as well as with the millennial buying behavior there is going to be increased focus on uh, lifestyle as opposed to functionality so I think uh, those are the areas that the Sri Lankan real estate market will be moving into. Uh, the next five to ten years for Sri Lanka promises to be a very exciting period. Uh, the legislation is being drafted as we speak to open up the market to foreign investors uh, Port City, Chinese foreign direct investment uh, the One Belt, One Road initiative, all putting, placing Sri Lanka firmly uh, in the global spotlight, emerging from relative um, obscurity. I really think that we will need more condominiums uh, to cater to the, you know, the requirements of a growing population and also um, expats coming into the country uh, and also you know, uh, foreign uh, Sri Lankan expatriates coming back uh, to live here. Uh, Sri Lanka is a small, it's an island, so the only time our land mass has grown is with the port city recently. Mm. So we definitely need more high rise, but within sort of proper regulations and plans so that it's a more effective and a better city to live in. This country has been through uh, 40 years of war, so after such a long and protracted conflict, um, peace has brought in people like him <laughs> who have a lot of money and uh, so prosperity has followed which I think is a great example for the world that there is such a thing as a peace dividend. God I can't even tell it's changing so fast um, I don't think the Colombo that I grew up in is going to look anything like what my kids are going to see when they grow up right um, but it's exciting at the same time because I hope it's going to bring we're used to seeing things a certain kind of way so those are those molds are breaking now and things are changing so fast it's exciting to see the new things that are coming in now.